Welcome to Ginza. So we don't have too much time here in Tokyo. And Fritz and I decided that it would be best if we split up so we can cover more ground. And while he's over uh, checking places uh, elsewhere, I'm here in Ginza. And as you can see right behind me, that's the Swatch uh, building. Everything from obviously Swatch, Omega, Glass Suit, and a bunch of other brands. So we're going to check it out real quick. And as well as everything else here, which is a lot as you're about to see. So along this street, you're going to see a lot of stuff. Piaget is there. Right now it's closed. It is uh, the holidays after all. You see Vacheron over there. Over here, aside from the Swatch Group, you're going to see right down there the Seiko Premium Store, which we'll definitely have to check out. Uh, further down, uh, Nishido, which has a bunch of brands like uh, Patek and Vacheron. After that is Mont Blanc. Further, further down all the way there is Quark. And uh, there's actually more than just that in this area alone. So there's really a lot to take in and we're gonna spend this afternoon looking around. So I started out at this place called Nishindo, which was not a place I had planned on going. They're a dealer for some high-end watches like Patek Philippe, Vacheron Constantine, and Grand Seiko. And um, I had a ball. They were very helpful there. I loved the shopping experience. And then some great watches uh, like this chronograph, uh, a bunch of stock for you know different dress watches for Patek. But one of my favorite things there actually was the Vacheron Constantin area, which is on the fourth floor. And the sales lady, very helpful, allowed me to try on this gorgeous Vacheron 56 day date in rose gold, which is one of my favorite watches from this trip, hands down. They also sell Grand Seikos here, but if I was gonna go Grand Seiko. Well, the Seiko Premium Boutique over here, which is where I'm going to see what they have. So you go into the Seiko Premium Boutique, which is, well, as you can see, the master shop for Grand Seiko. They had this great display there with a lot of historical pieces, which included this, um, Gorgeous Laurel, which uh, you Seiko fans will, will know as one of their first, if not their first watch. They have more than just Grand Seiko though. They have Credor and some of the more high-end uh, Seiko Presage watches. But obviously, uh, I'm there to see the big boys. And most of you know I love GMTs. So which is why that's kind of what I asked the ladies, uh, the sales lady to, see, to show me. This is an SBG E227G spring drive, which is just absolutely gorgeous. And perhaps the one I'd pick if I had to pick one. All right, so I've walked maybe three, four blocks down from where I last came from, where we saw the Vacheron store, PSA store, um, Seiko, Patek, and all those places. and. Um, there's just a lot more to see. Right behind me, you're gonna find IWC on the corner. And then right next to it is Panerai. And then a couple blocks down, that way is Tag Heuer. And there's a lot more uh, where that came from. Uh, we're not gonna have enough time to see all those stores, but we will definitely just walk past and show you what they have, at least in the windows.
All right, I'm in Tokyo Plaza, and uh, we've seen mostly Swiss pieces, oddly enough. But we are in Japan, so I wanted to make sure I got something uniquely Japanese, which is G-Shock. You all, you all know that I'm a G-Shock lover, and we're going to look forward here at Tokyo Plaza and see what they have. Alright, so um, this is going to be my last stop for the day before I grab some neat. Um, saw so much here in Japan. And just if you want to see what exactly I'm talking about as to what is my last stop, well, right behind me is Ten Shodo. They've got a bunch of different brands, and well, I just happened to pass by, so we might as well look. Alright, so it's been a long walk and I'm going to wrap up pretty soon, but I got lucky. I didn't even expect to see this. Right behind me is what they call the Seiko Dream Store. And I sort of took a peek inside. It looks really interesting. So we're going to do one quick run and I'm sure you guys are going to enjoy this one. Seiko Dream Square is a small building in Ginza. And as soon as you walk in the door, you're greeted by this beautiful display with memorabilia, dioramas, and of course, some historic Seiko models from their history. Now, it's four stories and I decided to check out all four. Uh, first floor being the museum, second for Prospects, third floor for Presage, and fourth for Astron. So, like I said, I decided to check out all four floors and um, this is what I saw.